Welcome, welcome, welcome back. Photo just a photo moment. It's Tuesday. I'm back from Mexico, back in my studio. Can tell I'm back home because I'm all bundled up because it is a solid uh, minus one degree Celsius outside right now. A little chillier than it was in Oaxaca, I must say. So uh, yesterday on the way home, I had done a broadcast from somewhere in Texas. What did I say? It was Houston. I was in Houston airport. And uh, what I was talking about, the Pelican case here that I'm sitting on, but it was kind of a crappy broadcast. Turned out that when I did my speed test, I was sitting in a restaurant, had really, really good bandwidth. And then I found this nice open, quiet area and apparently had no bandwidth. I didn't realize that until afterwards. So bad broadcast yesterday, apologies for that. So let's just recap what I was talking about yesterday because it's kind of important. The whole thing I wanted to talk about was this guy right here, Pelican case. And it's not just this model. It is, we're talking Pelican cases in general here, but this particular model, I think it's the 1510. We're gonna to link to this in the notes, of course is my favorite little pelican. Now here's, here's the backstory on this thing. I've got several pelicans. Uh, in fact, don't go anywhere. Let's see here. There's my other big one, which is an equally awesome pelican case. It's just considerably larger, as you can see here, a little bigger. But also, it's got the wheels, it's got the handle, wheel this thing around, great for transporting gear. Now. Either one of these Pelican cases are awesome for the same reasons. They're super strong, super durable. I call them bulletproof, they're not technically bulletproof, I'm sure you could shoot through one of these things if you really wanted to. But they're tough as nails, and they are actually waterproof. That's an important part of it. There is a rubber gasket seal, it is waterproof, so if your gear's sitting out on the tarmac in the rain, you don't have to worry about it. Someone pitches it overboard, it's gonna float. Kind of cool. Um, but in general, Pelicans are just really, really good, reliable, durable, way to transport your gear. Now, as I said yesterday, not sponsored by Pelican, not hosted by Pelican, none of that. These are mine, I bought these. I'm just, as a fan, just throwing this out there. So let's see, this one I've had for probably 10 years, maybe more. What year is this? Yeah, more than that. Because I think I got this, yeah, I've had this for well over 10 years. And this thing has been super rock solid for me. Now, what's interesting is I actually had at one point, not that long ago, maybe a year or so ago, one of these wheels started to fall apart, started to shatter and eventually disintegrate. And then, like I said, I had the thing for ages. So I wrote to the company, said, hey, how do I get these new parts? And uh, they said, what case number do you have and what's your address? And they sent me new ones. And it wasn't just the wheels, it was this entire assembly here because it's all connected. And they sent it to me for free. Now, I don't know if there's a lifetime warranty on these things, if it's just that good of customer service or what the deal is, but I thought that was pretty freaking awesome that they did that. So let's talk about this specific case, this smaller one here. So this one, I bought on a Black Friday special. I think this one is about 200 and I got it for something like 40% off. It was one of those too good of a deals to pass up. And when I ordered it, I thought I was ordering a bigger one. I thought it was more like the one here that I'm sitting on. And when it arrived, I was actually a little bit disappointed at how small it was. But then I realized what I had ordered in, in my Black Friday haste was the one that is designed for carry-on on all airplanes. <clears throat> now, just because it's designed for carry-on on all airplanes, sometimes you get on this really tiny little puddle jump person may still want to take it away from you, which we'll come to in a moment. Um, but this, even though it looks maybe a little bit on the big side, when you walk up to, uh, to any boarding gate on an airplane, they got this little place to test your bag, this will fit perfectly inside of that. It slides perfectly into the overhead compartment on any normal airplane. Uh, so it just absolutely fits. It's, like I said, waterproof, shockproof. You can beat the hell out of this thing, it's no problem. It's got the wheels. Now I do wish, <laughs> So I, uh, I just bought a new suitcase. I got a, 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 my first four wheel wheelie spinner, they call them spinner suitcases. And I've seen them all, you know, obviously they're all over the place. And so I just bought my first one recently, used it on this trip for the first time. Now that's cool tech. That, those four wheel spinner things are pretty awesome. I do now wish that my Pelican had that because it makes moving it around so easy, but the wheels would have to take up a lot more space so you would lose some storage space. I don't even know if they make one, um, but doesn't matter what they do or don't, it's kind of a cool tech, but this obviously works just fine, regular old wheels on here. So, uh, the case itself, this one, let's actually, you know, before I forget, so I don't forget, let's talk about the reason I like to use this for flying. Um, this is not the kind of case that once you get to your destination, you're gonna wanna carry around everywhere, unless you're just throwing it in the car and you're driving around, but if you're gonna go somewhere like I was here in Mexico and you're gonna be doing a lot of walking around, obviously this is not what you wanna take. This is more an A to B camera, and then uh, A to B bag, and then once you get to B and you're going to C, you want to have something else. So either a small shoulder bag, for uh, a soft bag, something like that, a backpack, whatever. But the reason that I like taking this on airplanes is because sometimes you do have to gate check, 
right? And sometimes you get there, and even just a normal, totally legal size bag, they go, oh, you know, small airplane, full airplane, whatever, let's gate check it. And so they take it and they throw it down below. I have zero concerns letting them throw this thing down below, no matter what it's filled with, whether it's full lenses or bodies or just strobes, whatever. I never worry about it because I know it's so durable and strong. Unlike, let's say you had a big camera bag, backpack, shoulder bag, whatever, a big one that's legally within size, but they decided it's too big to fit. Are you really gonna be okay with them putting that down there? Probably not. And even more to the point, yesterday when we flew from Oaxaca to Houston, they gate checked it in Oaxaca, okay, fine. And then we landed in Houston and they said, by the way, all your gate check bags will show up on the luggage carousel. Now imagine if you had had your soft bag and you're going, okay, it's just going down below. I'm gonna get it back as soon as I get off the plane. And they go, just kidding. We're gonna throw it on the truck with everything else and off it goes. Super no bueno, right? That is like crazy not cool. So that's exactly what happened. But of course, I don't have to worry about it because I know my gear is in the Pelican. Now the Pelicans have, um, Get a little locking thing there, you just stand a little latch, opens up, right? And then there's a little locking thing. And you can put TSA locks on there, which is great. Um, what I usually do, though, is I just put, let's see, I got them in here, I think. Where did I put them? Got them. Oh, well. Zip ties. I had zip ties. Um, I will zip tie them. And I zip tie them because I know that TSA can easily cut those off. And then the key thing, and well, the key thing is to put more zip ties inside. So you put in a little Ziploc baggie, a couple of the zip ties, put them right on top, maybe even put a note on it that says, please reseal this case if you open it. And you know what, they will. They really will, security will do that. Maybe not always, but in my experience they have. So there's that. Um, and obviously you could use TSA locks as well if you wanted to. Um, but the TSA locks is a, it's kind of an American thing, I think. I don't know if they, they really have the keys outside of TSA, uh, outside of the US, I'm not quite sure how that works. Doesn't matter. So locking it, zip ties, really good way to go. Um, let's see here. Yeah, because these latches, okay, so that's obviously locked. This can get bumped open. That can get bumped open. And if you don't have a lock on here, suddenly your case is open. So that would obviously not be good. So it's another really good reason to do it. Not even security, just, just security in the sense of keeping this closed. This little case, this 1510, um, I got it with the padded dividers. You can get it with or without that, I believe. And then you just have a big empty case or you can get foam, um, the foam inserts for it, which then you totally customize to exactly whatever gear you've got. I like having this type of flexibility. It's got one big divider down the middle and then a bunch of little these guys to position however you like. Uh, I had small light stands, travel light stands, umbrellas, and um, my video tripod even on this side and then strobes and other stuff in here. And then there's this little lid case, which didn't come with it. This was separate, but this has turned out really handy. So you got this lid case. It could just be a foam insert in here. I think, I think it came with a foam insert. Or at this end, you got all these little pockets in here. I will say that I remember this being one of the biggest pains in the ass to attach. The, you screw it in, and as I recall, the posts that you screw it into were not pre-threaded, so it was a bit of a nightmare getting it on. But once it's on, it's on, and you never take it off, and that's all good and solid. So that's the Pelican for that. It's, uh, it's great. You know, if you're gonna travel by airplane with gear more than what's gonna fit in a small shoulder bag that you know will sit, fit under the seat in front of you, highly, highly recommend traveling with something like this. It just keeps your gear safe and secure and you don't have to worry about it if they do put it down below. Uh, let's see, is there anything else I want to say about this thing? Um, I don't know. Cover it in stickers. <laughs> Makes it original. You know it's yours. I don't know really anything else to say. These things are bulletproof, man. They are super solid, super solid cases. There's a lot of other cases out there. I have used some other third-party cases that are not made by Pelican. I have yet to find one that's as good as Pelican's. Not to say others are bad, but I have yet to find one as good. Example, okay, here's an example. These have a pressure release valve. You don't have to push it, you don't have to do anything to it. It just relieves the pressure inside the case, but it's also waterproof. So if this thing goes underwater, it's waterproof, but it has a pressure release valve. I have other cases that are not made by Pelican. Um, for example, the one that comes with my Felix lighting kit. Where is that? Um, So this case is the one that came with my Felix lighting kit. Love, love, love my Felix lighting kit. Not a huge fan of the case. Um, it has, you know, nice big wheels, same kind of a thing. Two, two differences here. I can't, it's really hard to release this with one hand. So if you've got one hand free and you now want to pull the handle up, it's kind of, kind of a pain. Not impossible, but kind of a pain. Whereas these guys, you in the close right here? 
All I have to do is push that to release. So I just do this and it's open. Every time, push that and it's open. No problem. This one is a lot harder to get open with one hand. But that's not the real reason that it annoys the heck out of me. The real reason is it has no pressure release valve. So I have gotten off of airplanes where this was in the hold, check baggage. I get off the plane, I get it from the check baggage, and immediately what I want to do is look inside and make sure everything's here, make sure nothing's broken before I leave the airport. So I go to open it, and this, I will say, this has a nice feature where it's got a little lock on there, so that's good. But I go to open it, and what's happened is I can't get it open. The seal is so strong that I cannot get it open. And I talked to the company about it, and they said, well, what I usually do when I get off a plane is I'll open one, take up the handle, and by the time I'm out of the airport somewhere where I actually need it, enough air has gotten in and it opens. And that's true, but that's not what I want. I want to open it right now when I get it off of the belt to make sure all my toys are okay. So that is a big difference. These don't do that. They've got that pressure release valve and they are always ready to open. So, you know, little details like that. You may not think it's that important, but then you get off a plane um, and you want to check it. And I, I remember the time that it actually happened to me. I had a, for whatever reason, a security guy decided to hand deliver this to me. And he hands it to me, and I'm going, okay, let me make sure everything's okay. And he's kind of going, aren't you going to open it? Why can't you open it? I'm like, I can open it. It's, Why can't you open it? You're like, yeah. You know, that's not the conversation you want to have with a big guy with a gun. So, uh, yeah, pressure release valve, no pressure release valve until you open it. So, anyway, that's the kind of thing that makes Pelicans awesome. Just little details like that. Swear by them. Been great to me. If you're looking for a hard case, buy one of these things, for sure. And preferably, use my link below. Okay, that's it. Uh, are there any questions? Anything's come up on there? No, nothing? Nah, no questions. All right, guys, throw the questions in the comments if you got any. We'll hit those up later. Um, tomorrow, I think, we're gonna talk about my trip in general. I wanna show a bunch of the photos, just talk about the experience in Oaxaca, Mexico, talk about the workshop a little bit, and share some of what happened there. Okay, that's it, right here. Take care, guys, see ya, bye-bye. <laughs> hey, don't forget to subscribe. When it still says streaming status, no data. Got yeah, super. It was, did it keep doing that? Back and forth, and then it was like showing viewers, and then no viewers, and then viewers. Ah, uh, well, hopefully it didn't do like 15 different yeah, streams. So.